Hello you. You do recognise me then, that's good. I did want to talk to you earlier when you just moved in but you were so so busy. I didn't want to add to that. Yes, so I am just next door if you ever need me. And I'm a bit of a, a nosy neighbour in the nicest possible way, okay? I, I don't, I'm not going to interfere or anything, but I am very protective and I just, I want you to know that you are supported. As I said, I'm here if you need me. I saw you outside on the road just now and you seemed, seemed quite overwhelmed. There was a lot going on, there was traffic, there were school children going by in a big group and I saw in you something that I recognised in myself. I, I have panic attacks. I used to live in London. London is full of hustle and bustle and it's a great place but for people with massive anxiety like myself it can get a little bit overwhelming, a little bit noisy. So I have had many a panic attack on the tube when travelling and I just, I saw some of the signs in you and I know this is a new place and things can be very very overwhelming darling so I hope you don't mind that this old lady has. I I have a few links in the community, uh, let's just say that, shall we? And people owe me favours, and I have the coffee shop cleared out for you. So this is why we're here now. I have brought you in to this safe place. There's nobody else around. I, the owner can bring us some snacks and some drinks if we so wish. They're very, very supportive. They're very understanding. And they, they, under, they just know. And it is wonderful to know people like that. Now, I just wanted to sweep you away to somewhere safe. To somewhere you can feel secure. You can find yourself. And why am I just talking at you? I just want to distract you. I want to try and take your mind away from all of those things that are pulling at it and putting pressure on you. And I just want you to come in here. Take a deep breath because the smell of the coffee in this coffee shop, it is just delicious. I, I'm mainly a tea person. I do love a cup of tea, but I'm also half Dutch and I don't know, maybe it's in my genes, I like a nice black coffee, so from time to time that, that will just perk me up. There's just this nice positive mental association, so I hope that that is working for you. I hope you can enjoy the space that we're in right now, there's plenty of space to just stretch and relax, just chill out and hang out with me. I wanted to welcome you into the neighbourhood anyway. There is, there's a lot to do, but also there's no pressure to do anything. You don't need to worry. And as I've said before, I'm here. If you need me, if you want to talk to me, I'm just next door, alright? My name is Tree, by the way. I don't think I've actually said that. <laughs> so, it is wonderful to meet you. It is just smashing to have you in the community. Um, shall we have a little look at some of the snacks that we could have right now? So there are a few that I, oh, I just, I love me a pastry. I know, I, I have the curves to back up that I do love me a pastry, but I can't help it. So, what do you think? I, I mean, just Danish pastries in general, there's all sorts. I like the buns, like the, the whirly buns, I can't remember what they're called. they kind of got cinnamon and they've got um, sultanas or raisins in them and they've got a little bit of icing on top and I find those delicious. Another type of 
pastry that I love. I love good old apple turnover. Do you know the ones with like, it's really light, flaky, fluffy pastry and they're like these little triangles. And you have the, <clears throat> the crunchy sugar on the outside. It feels so naughty having that much sugar, but I can't help it. I love it. I love it so much. I just, anything appley for some reason, sultanas, appley and sultanery. Now this isn't a pastry and you won't find this here, but I do remember from my youth. I have some positive memories of my youth and one of those, my grandmother used to bake cooking apples and have you ever seen a cooking apple? It's not, it's not a normal apple. She had this tree in her back garden and it, it had cooking apples on it. And when I was younger, my brother and I would try to eat the apples like normal apples, but they, they are not normal apples. They're like this big. They're massive. Anyway, you would core out, you would scoop out the core of that, and then you would stuff it with like sultanas and, and brown sugar, I think, and maybe some cinnamon and stuff. And then you would bake it. And I guess my love of things like apple flavours and cinnamon flavours and sultanas, that, that's come from then. So I, I love an apple danish or an apple turnover. They don't have to have cream. You know what is creamy that I do love? Mille foy. So I think some people over here in the UK call them Mille Philly. I used to work at a supermarket uh, when I was 16 and there were definitely employees there at the bakery who would call them Mille Philly. But I think it's French. M-I-L-L-E. Mille. Uh, foy. F-E-U-I-L-L-E. Um, so like a thousand, a thousand leaves, kind of leaves of paper, I think is kind of, so it's just like really fluffy, but some, I love those. I love anything with like a custardy inside. I love vanilla. I love custard. I know, I know I'm going on and on about food. I just, essentially, I just want to distract you. I'm terrible, but should you wish any of those things? certainly any of the pastries, we can have those. There are some straightforward pan au chocolat, so there's plenty of those. And the, I happen to know, because I can smell, that they are perfectly warm right now, and I know that the chocolate inside is just, it is just melting, just right, you know? Sometimes it's still a solid lump, sometimes it has just gone so melty that it doesn't really feel like there's a decent amount there because it's so thin and everywhere. Anyway, there are plenty of options and if you're feeling a little bit savoury, my go-to, it's just a nice warm croissant. I cannot help it. I know a lot of my my preferences are a continental, but I love it. I embrace the continent and I embrace the food. So yeah, just a simple, now I'm very naughty. I probably have terrible health because of some of my food choices. I will have a croissant, I will slice it open, and then it will get buttered. Well, I will warm it up and then the butter has to melt. It just, I realise, I do understand that croissants are made with a lot of butter anyway. But I can't help it. There are a few things in life that bring me joy, and I've spoken before that it's important to know these things, be aware of these things, and when you need to, to pull upon these things. And you are always welcome to come back here. We can go for a coffee whenever you want. I work from home. I can sneak off now and again. I don't mind making up my hours elsewhere if you need some support. Settling in to a new life. It's a big thing and it's good if you have people there to support you. I know that. I understand. I'm not going to keep you much longer. I don't know where you were heading off to when I intercepted you. But I hope that perhaps my ramblings have distracted you a little. And do, do grab something if you would like. Get yourself a coffee if you so wish. Take the time that you need to compose yourself 
and to get ready to step out of that door, ready to face the rest of the day, okay? My friend will open up when you're gone, but there is no rush. There's no pressure on you at all, darling, alright? I will see you when I see you, and, you know, that, that may be anywhere in town, but do always feel free to say hello, and I am here for you if you need me, okay? You're very precious.